I'm back. <laughs> um, it's time for the, I guess, now annual um, year recap, recap and um, gratitude acknowledgement. This is the third one, guys. We had 2020, 2021, now 2022. Let's get started. I've got a ton of things to update you guys on where I've been the last couple months and where things are headed. Let's go. So, wow. Okay, let's let's just get started, get comfortable. Um, I guess first things first, I'm in a new apartment um, that some of you guys on YouTube may already know about because maybe you saw the GoFundMe and things like that. But also if you follow me on social media, like on Instagram or the Facebook group for this uh, community, you guys probably already know that I moved into a new place. So um, more of that in the new year 2023 but this is something that i always look forward to doing at the end of the year uh usually i think i've done it in the beginning of december but things have just been so crazy and so different that it kind of forced me to get this video out later in the month and today is december 30th so I figured it's kind of like, it's just right on time. Like everything happens right on time. Um, and when I was thinking about what I wanted to do for this video, I thought to myself, um, you know, I always look back at the year and how the year went. And this was just a, just a really, really cool one. I, I can remember like last year I was sharing with you guys, I went to Paris and Mexico a couple times and San Fran and Turkey and all these places and my last relationship and what I learned from that but this year it's been all about like literally all about foster care and kids and what is my dog doing Lake what are you doing Lake what are you doing gosh <laughs> um, and just this entire journey of becoming a father and today I will say that now officially two full years into being a licensed foster parent um, I'm exhausted <laughs> I truly am um, I have taken in my first older child which is not something I thought I would ever do um, but I am so happy that I did, and I have. He is an amazing young man. He is just turned, he just turned 10 years old, and he is sweet and kind and loving and empathetic. That's the most, I think the most beautiful thing about him is he is so empathetic. Um, but more of that, like, in the future. Um, I, I just can't, like I was setting up our Christmas tree. We were setting up our Christmas Christmas tree this year. Uh, just, you know, Christmas was like a week ago or something. And um, not a week ago. It wasn't a week ago. It was a couple days ago. I don't even know. It doesn't matter. Um, and I saw these little ornaments that uh, baby R's grandmother made and it had like his face on it that she cut out of a picture and then like it was like this little paper elf that she made it was so cute and I saw him and um, some of the ornaments that I you know if you watch last year's Christmas video getting the Christmas tree with baby R those ornaments we picked out it was so cool to like open up the box of ornaments and see the one I picked out for him and the picture he and I took and we put that in there. 
it was really cool just to see memories from last year. So yeah, like as I was just like getting things together um, in my head about what I would talk about, I'm just obviously processing this year. And so this year I had baby R in the beginning of the year through through midway half through midway through the year. Can you stop, Lake? Oh my gosh, he's like growling for no reason. Baby R, I had. Um, baby A, I had, and then I got baby eight, and baby E, and then um, now M is here. So four kids, gosh, four kids. Oh my gosh. Um, I, <laughs> oh my God, that's crazy to say. Uh, four kids, and I, I'm not gonna lie y'all, like, babies they've got me y'all they have got me to the max like i am just like overwhelmed with the babies <laughs> um i love baby e so uh, it's easy to like be with her um she is growing she is smiling she's smiling back at smiles which is amazing She's starting to like reach up and grab my face as I get closer to her. Um, she's at, she's five months old, so she's at this place where she just wants me, um, which I've experienced before, and it's really adorable and cute. They really latch on. Um, baby R, listen, I don't know how he's doing. I got a phone call, not a phone call. I got a two pictures from his grandmother this week and he is a chunky little baby <laughs> he's chunky he's over a year old obviously he's smiling in his pictures he was always a little smiley baby um and uh it was nice to see to see him but what i will say is that people often ask me how I'm doing with with that placement and it's weird because it feels like that placement affects me the least but the mo the more we go forward in time and the more that people ask me about him I think I'm just discovering that like I'm just naturally blocking it out because I choose not to think about him. I do think about him a lot, actually. He comes up in my mind a lot. But I I think I just don't, I think my body, my brain doesn't wanna, doesn't wanna process it, doesn't wanna think about it. Because it's funny because I've had to restart this, like, not restart, but like start again with this video two times now because my phone storage is so full. And as I'm going back, having to delete stuff, I'm seeing all the old videos of this year. Old videos, old photos, unreal. Um, but anyway, so I think I really block all of that out because I, it's probably just too much. It's too hard to think about. Like I literally raised that kid since he was from two months old to 11 months old. So I think I just try not to think about it as a, I don't know, protection thing for myself. But it was nice to get that photo and to see him, just to see that he's smiling and good. And he looks healthy, so. What more can you ask for, right? Um, I reached out to baby A, family, and I don't know how, the, not how, how she's doing. No idea, like I don't. I don't know. Um, I hope good. And it'd be nice if they reached back out. Sent a picture, I asked for a picture, nothing. It's pretty sad. Pretty, pretty, pretty sad. But what are you gonna do? You just uh, hope for the best. No, expect the worst and hope for the best. Um, and then obviously like the channel hit partner this year, which is crazy. <laughs> it's so crazy. 
Um, I can't believe that. Uh, it's funny because like just, so it went, it hit the partner status in July and then August came and like as August and, and then things had to change with the channel. <sighs> so August and then September and like so much changed with the channel like in this short period of time and then the holidays came and um i just was like i have videos like i have i think five videos recorded but i got to the point where i was just like i don't want to record right now i don't want to do anymore i need a break we've been doing this for two years we've had all these babies for two years all of these kids like i've been recording i need i don't get any sleep guys literally the thing i tell everyone is i've had three for two years i've had three to four month old babies literally for two years long like that's not normal i don't sleep i don't get any break um so i just had to take a break from something over over the last half of this year and there were times where it was really hard but then there was also times more often than not where i was like this feels good and yes i worry about that trusty old algorithm and is it going to knock my 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 channel down? Is I, am I going to get demonetized or something? But I just had to let it go. Like literally just had to let it go and just say, it all is what it is. And the, the loyal people will be there and are still here. Um, uh, so that's the good thing. Um, I just feel, it's the weird, the gratitude that I feel is this like gratitude that I know like putting this video out that it'll, it'll most likely be well received. It'll be like fresh, refreshing for people to get this update. Um, it doesn't feel like, I don't even feel like I have to explore the whole context, context, contents of 2022. Like it was all out there and I'm just so grateful like the people that watch this channel are really loving, really supportive. I've, I got gifts from people for Christmas um, that watch the channel and it's just really cool. It's really cool. And like when M came, okay, okay, let's, let's just talk about this GoFundMe. Like what in the world? Like that GoFundMe got funded and it helped so much. We all know moving is expensive. You know, it's one thing to have the money and do it, which is still expensive. Like, so to have the support, that was amazing. And literally the day, so I signed my lease and then like three days later, I get a call for M, which is like, he's not the child that I moved and it's just crazy we are so similar he and I are literally like the same person it's so awesome the way we laugh and joke and our humor is the same really really cool and you know God has a funny way of doing things where we think one thing's happening for one reason and it's really for something different or or maybe maybe it is going to still be that original reason i don't know um more will be revealed uh but it's been really really nice really cool he has his own room he's loves it thrilled he's decorated it and he's got like his christmas was amazing i did a video for that so things are coming out they will be coming out um but i wanted to just like say thank you guys like truly i think like two or three times over the last week maybe a week and a half um people have been asking me about like where i'm at with the foster care stuff and things like that and i like i said i i get frustrated and i get tired of this um the amount of back and forth of a roller coaster it all is and all i care about is these kids being safe um and but there's just so much red tape and there's so much politics and laws and we have to do things a certain way that's i think that's what i'm learning right now 
is like so much of this just has to be done a certain way. And I don't know all the answers to everything and I don't know all the reasons why and sometimes they won't make sense, but I just have to like trust that like it all has to happen a certain way. Um, so I'm excited for the future. I'm grateful that everyone's been here for me. Um, there are, I've shared this before, there have been times where I have wanted to give up. Like I have literally been like, I don't want to do this. And even more than Instagram, YouTube has been the place where y'all have like helped me many times this year not give up on this journey of mine. And I'm really grateful for that because had not I had you guys, I probably would have stopped. Um, I, I don't remember exactly what happened. I think it was the allegation thing. But um, I was ready to be done. And I can remember some of the comments and the messages I got on Instagram and Facebook of people like, don't you dare. Don't let these people win. Don't let them beat you down. You're an amazing person. You're doing an amazing thing. And um, like I just, I just think of those things and how that's what this year's been about. This year has been about so many people supporting Kevin. Like, yes, everyone loves like the children and, and how I'm helping these children, but it's weird while everyone wants me to have my forever child and I want that, I've had a whole year of learning and coming to terms and I don't even want to say coming to terms, but coming to peace with reunification, truly coming to peace with it. And um, a year of seeing how many people do support me and my journey on this, uh, along this, my path along this journey. Um, so who knows what next year is going to hold. I pray to God it's all good things. I pray, Lord, that it is all good things. And I know that when God gives us good things, he gives us things in bigger ways than we could, we can even conceive if we uh, get out of our own way. So here's my declaration, God. <laughs> I'm stepping out of my way and letting you take control. Uh, and I'm doing my best to stay teachable and listen. Um, I'm so grateful you guys got to meet Amy this year. You guys literally met and, you know, learned about Amy as I did. Like, we were just thinking the other day, how long have we been friends? It's like, if it's if it's not a year, it's like just at a year, we determined. And we do believe it's not even a full year. We think January's a year. Um, but man, just like, what an awesome person. I, can, I cannot thank Amy enough because she's she's done too much she's she's just been too friendly loving resourceful of a person for me to not to not just continue to say thank you and now look at her she's literally in the process of getting licensed to be a foster parent so and she's had <laughs> She's had so much experience because she's helped me so much with the kids. And I have friends that are adopting and I, I have quite a few friends that are in the process of adopting through the foster care system. And it's weird because I'm so happy for these people because they all want it just as much as I want it. And I'm happy they're getting through this muddy waters and the swamp 
of foster care and they're now experiencing some of the goodness of what, of like what we're wanting to adopt like all of us um, and you know some of them have their first placement and they're adopting some of them are on their second and some of them have had a couple of placements that they reunified and now they're adopting and it makes it hard because none of them are at two years like I am and so like you know I get in my head and am I supposed to do this does God want this of me and I I don't believe that I believe that God does want this of me of me because I want it um, but that doesn't mean it's on my time um, it's still on his time uh, so I try to be grateful for them um, and experience that gratitude and excitement, but also acknowledge in my own ways the sorrow that some of those things bring for me because I want that so bad too. But again, uh, I've experienced so much in these two years and especially this year that I don't know many people that have experienced these things when it comes to foster care and the things that I've gone through, the good, the good things and the joys. And um, I gotta say thank you to Jackie. Uh, Jackie was baby R's first placement. And we've been able to build a friendship this year that has been <laughs> it's been fun it's been like laughter and <laughs> we get real sassy on the phone it's a lot of fun <laughs> we've been able to like vent to each other about this stuff and you need that person right you need that person that's just gonna let you like ah i can't do this made friends with Aaron and Aaron and they have um, their foster kid who I met at uh, a picnic for foster appreciation for the foster parents at Aviva they had a picnic for all of us and I met Aaron and Aaron and I can remember like going up to the, the party and I had baby A it was the day before pride and um I saw them and I sat at another table. Y'all, like, like I'm like super outgoing, right? Like, I can be a jerk, but pretty much really outgoing. I don't mind talking to anyone, but oh my God, like sometimes like I get really shy. And so I sat at this other table and I saw them. I saw Aaron and Aaron. And then I saw these other two guys. I was like, oh, well, they're the gays. And I just like, kind of like looked over there. I was like, oh, I hope they say hi to me. <laughs> and I never said anything. And then like, as we were leaving that like picnic, like we all, merged and then we all became friends and now me and Aaron and Aaron are really good friends and they now come to my church and their kid comes to church and um my kids come to church and so like we we've developed this really nice friendship um and that's really sweet there's been a lot of joy this year and it's interesting I'll wrap up with this it's interesting because Two of my close friends are in the phase of adopting, like right now. And we're all going into the new year. And they're going into the new year with this, like, this on their horizon. And I don't know where I'm at with, I don't know what's going on with the cases I have. Like we are in reunification phases. And again, perfectly, perfectly content with that. I, I know like this is step, step one and I always say it, I support reunification and I think it's important um, to whatever extent it needs to be uh, but I also know this it's good to rejoice in what others have that you want um, it's good because karmic energy I guess but also because supporting and loving your friends and rejoicing in their joys in their pleasures celebrating with them I think is a lot more fun than being in your own sorrow 
and I don't have a lot of sorrow. Like, obviously, there's a lot of things I want to fix about my life and get back in the gym and get healthy again with eating and physical. Um, but I'm pretty damn happy. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really happy in life. I got a great life. Great home and a great family. So that's it. That's the 2022 wrap up. I can't tell you how grateful I am for all of you. <laughs> Please comment below and just let me know. I don't know, tell me something you enjoyed about this channel this year. Um, and those of you who have reached out to me to get advice on how to start fostering, thank you for trusting me. Okay? I love y'all. Bye. See you in the new year. More content's coming. More content is coming. Okay? <laughs> Bye.